now. Uh, this is pretty much interesting and probably, uh, right, I'll, I'll, I'll also answer about this. So the question is basically, uh, do we need master of PhD to become data scientist? Uh, I think uh, we can go with Ken. Yeah. So I think historically, um, it was having a master's or a PhD was important for data science when starting out because it was very difficult to evaluate someone's ability in the data science role. You know, when, when the field was very, very new, nobody knew what skills you needed. Nobody knew what, uh, what was relevant for the work. So they'd say, oh, this is the closest thing we can get to um, a qualification process or like a, a high quality interview, a credential, whatever that might be. As the field has progressed, I really don't believe that a master's or PhD is necessary. You know, I, I did two master's degrees and I, I learned quite a bit through them. But looking back, I think I could have learned absolutely everything uh, through open source resources, even for free, uh, if, if I was maybe a little bit more motivated and I had had a conversation about these types of things. I mean, if you're looking in terms of cost benefit, I mean, again, I am, there's a lot of student loan debt that I have because of taking these degrees. And yes, I mean, they have probably helped me in the job search and those things, but was the cost benefit worth it? If you're looking in pure numbers, it probably wasn't. So, you know, I've, I've talked to quite a few people who have gotten into this field from software engineering without master's degrees from data, uh, from the data analytics side without uh, advanced degrees. And I think the one most meaningful thing that I've found is that if you get one data science role, just one, where you can call yourself a data scientist, that is the exact same thing as having a master's degree or a PhD in this field, because you've gotten that credibility, right? Someone else has been willing to hire you as a data scientist. That means when you go somewhere else, you hold that title and no one's going to really be looking at it. There, there's, there's no questions about it because you've been a data scientist before. So it might be a little bit harder without an advanced degree to get that first data science position. But after you get it, in my opinion, it really won't matter. Okay, that will, uh, you can answer next. Uh, I guess you want to go ahead because you, you have been last all the time. So if you can answer and then maybe let yeah. I, I'll, I'll be okay, last. Uh, I agree with uh, all the points that uh, uh, Ken has actually said. Uh, I'll tell you because if we, when I started, you know, it was somewhere around six years, seven years back. And at that time, we did not have that much materials present in the internet, right? So at that time, I also used to ask my friends who are actually doing masters, you know. So I used to ask them how to solve this particular problem, how to solve this problem. So at that time, I understood that, that if, I, if I just go six to seven years back, I would say that, yes, uh, masters and PhD would have been, uh, you know, it, it would have been necessary in order to get the data science position. Because there was no one to guide you over there, right? Uh, because you need to have a different perspective of studying things. You know? At that time, a lot of materials are also not available in the internet itself. But now, what I feel is that now you don't require to do master's and PhD if you are specifically looking to go into data science. But if you are looking to do some additional research, you know, do some extensive new thing in this particular field, I would suggest go with master's and PhD. Uh, it is good to have masters or PhD, but it is not compulsory to have masters or PhD to become a data scientist. That is the point that I like to put. Sweet and simple. Uh, yes, Ken. Sorry. Yeah. Here's the whole You can go. Uh, I would say you don't even need bachelor's degree. Forget masters. Yeah. I know for sure because I have many friends working for fan companies here in US. When they interview people they sometimes hire college dropouts. Let's say you are a college dropout. You don't even have a bachelor's, but you started contributing to open source projects and you have, let's say, 50 pull requests merged in Pandas. You have excellent project portfolio. Maybe you have done a lot of freelancing. Companies will hire you easily. On the other hand, you could be a master from Ivy League University and you will easily get rejected because you don't perform well in the interview. How do you perform well in the interview? Not just because you have a bachelor's. You can perform well in the interview if you have done some real life projects. And college is often not the best way to do real life projects. So the world is changing very fast. Big companies, tier one companies, they are hiring college dropouts. I have a friend who is a college dropout, 
working for like top five companies in US. He goes for uh, the campus recruitment and, and he feels always weird. It's like, okay, I'm in this college recruiting all these guys, but I was like a dropout after first year because he never thought that college is the best way to utilize his time and skills. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So uh, actually I made a video about this. Um, the video was to PhD or not to PhD. And so I, I dive into my own personal journey. So, so in a nutshell, personally, I did not pay for my PhD study. And so the thing is, why not? Right. So, uh, but, but it, but then if, if I had to pay for it, right, I, I'm not sure whether I would go that path, but um, I, I'm grateful for having gone that path because otherwise I wouldn't have been in this field of doing data science. And so, but the thing I agree with Ken and Deval and, and also Grace that, I mean, the most important thing is not what you are. I mean, what, what, not what accreditation you have, right? Not, not the bachelor's or master's or whatever. And, and I agree totally that the ultimate thing is what you can do, right? So, all, so your abilities and your skills of being a data scientist is shown in your own portfolio. So the thing is when you go to an interviewer, they see your portfolio, they'll be amazed at what you can do. So, so the thing is, it doesn't really matter what you have, right? You could have just a high school diploma, but you could do amazing stuff as Duval has mentioned. I mean, you'll probably get hired right, right away. Yeah, so totally agree with that. I think pretty much all of us across the board on our channels have videos about how to build a portfolio, how to, how to do projects, why they're so important. And I think that that's such a, a common theme because it's so true and it holds true no matter what. I mean, data science is moving, hopefully, towards where software engineering is, where like, show me what you've done, where you're actually using these skills, and if you can like confirm that you can do that, we'll hire you. And it's like, to me, what does a degree have to do with that uh, at, at a certain point? So um, yeah, I mean, highly recommend. I, again, I think everyone in this group has quite a few videos on that. And for anyone watching, I recommend absolutely wearing out those playlists because to me, that is the single best thing that you can do to either set yourself up for a job or to actually just learn this field in general.